preach in the end is the kingdom of God, which is that all of humanity will be gathered together in unity in Christ. Motto of the order is veritas, which means truth. And this is a pursuit for truth, which on one level is intellectual, uh, a striving for intellectual truths, but beyond that is a striving for moral truth and for spiritual truth for authentic and truthful ways of living. We can't preach the kingdom in which all the wounds of humanity, all the divisions, all the separations are overcome if we're not able to be one with each other. Dominican spirituality really begins by sharing in that compassion of Dominic, compassion on other people, wanting to help them to come to knowledge of the truth, to come to knowledge of Christ, and to then flourish as human beings. Dominicans are driven by a love for Christianity, a love for theology in particular, and by the search for the truth. What we want to do is to communicate not only that the gospel is true, but that the Christian gospel is joyful. The life that we share together is very important as forming us for, for, for brethren who are loving and can talk about the God who's love. We share life together, our prayer and work and living, looking after the house together, and looking after one another. It is a, a family kind of life. It's a way of living where you take on responsibilities for your brothers. It relies on us respecting each brother and trusting each brother. We belong to something larger than the individual friar. We become something larger than our own selves in this brotherhood. Our lives together are lives of prayer, first of all. We pray together three times a day at least, um, morning, noon and evening. Those moments of prayer as community are very important to us because they break through the moments of, of work and study which we all have. They build our relationship with God and our relationship with each other. That combination of the Eucharist and the Divine Office, which is the sung office, sung in plain chant, is at the very heart of our lives. Fundamentally, in prayer, is what you bring to God. You bring to God your, your, your 
desires, your needs, the needs of other people. But even more fundamentally is you have to open your ears to listen. It drives a process of personal reflection. It drives a process of reflection on the world. And it drives a reflection on the deposit of faith, which helps us to distinguish what comes from God and what doesn't come from God. Study actually helps us understand why we should give up very good things that we could otherwise enjoy in life. There's a discipline involved in study, which is itself a spiritual discipline. The emphasis is on uh, an intellectual understanding, uh, a study of scripture and the church's traditions of history, uh, which gives an enormous amount of, uh, of satisfaction uh, and a, a much uh, broader, deeper vision of what life is all about, really. The shape of our life makes essential space for study. The Dominican liturgy is meant to be done swiftly, uh, partly so we can get back to our study. But the study itself is meant to facilitate our mission. Mission means uh, actually that we are set. It, it means that uh, you are here to say, as it says in the Bible, here I am, Lord, send me, send me. When you're preaching the gospel, you're trying to show people where Christ is present in their lives already. You're trying to show people where God is present in the world. Because we're preachers, we have to get out uh, and be with people, we have to hear their concerns, we have to find ways of sharing the gospel that they will understand. Moving all the time from different things, you know, so you can be involved in, in um, a children's assembly where you've got to, you know, sort of think like a child and sort of communicate with children in children's ways and then you come out of that and maybe you've got to go to see somebody in the hospital and you've got to change change direction very quickly. There is this movement or interplay between prayer and apostolic work. And I suppose one feeds off the other. We point the way to Christ in what we say and what we write. We point to Christ in who we are as individual friars, and hopefully we point to Christ in how we live together as brothers. So our way of life is to be for other people. We are founded to be useful for the salvation of some. attractive about our life is it offers a chance to live in community with other brothers, to contemplate the Word of God, to pray and then to take that message out into the wider world in many different ways.